I feel like with a lot of students here, the positive is they're really in school not just because their parents told them to be or because they think it's a gateway to making money, but they really want to figure out like what's wrong, what can we do about it, can we make a little bit of a difference. I see my role in teaching as two functions. One is developing critical thinking, but a lot of faculty say that. A second thing to me equally important is developing solidarity with other oppressed people because critical thinking without solidarity and empathy can just lead to cynicism and so on. When we have positive change in this country, it comes about not from Abraham Lincoln or George Washington, but from grassroots movements struggling, organizing for uh, making people's lives better. I do see change coming a lot from people who are the most oppressed, and so I really give a lot of effort to like first-generation college students, students of color. I, mean, I try to work with everybody, but students of first generation, I really try to encourage and work with, and people who I think will be in for the long run.